Hey everyone, long time no talk. Um, I wanted to quickly check in and kind of give you guys an update of what I've been doing with my life since the last uh, video that went live, which is the my Amsterdam vlog um, and the apartment tour. So like I mentioned in that video, right after I came back, I started my neurology rotation, which was three weeks and um, it's very short and I found myself like feeling like I had to study for it all the time because the exam, the shelf exam was coming up at the end of the shelf or at the end of the clerkship. You know, I was doing my hospital duties and studying and I remember just like feeling really burnt out because it's the end of third year. And I mentioned in the last video that I think third year is one of the hardest years of med school just because you're constantly being thrown into these new situations and you're always being evaluated um, both um, in the hospital um, like kind of as a person as a student but also you have this shelf exam kind of looming over your head the whole clerkship so you're supposed to go home after a long day at the hospital and study for this exam that's going to make up a big part of your grade so you know third year neurology being my last clerkship I felt like I was pretty burnt out that's why I I tried like more than one on more than one occasion to vlog my week or my day on neurology and I found myself just not being able to continue because I would either forget or you know there would be just like large gaps be between filming that it didn't really make sense so uh, basically I tried to vlog but I didn't really vlog um, but Basically, neurology was pretty interesting. The whole clerkship was three weeks, like I said. So the first week and a half was spent on stroke service. So basically going to code strokes and um, taking care of patients who just had stroke. And then second half of the clerkship was um, basically general neurology consult. So um, anything from seizure patients to like if somebody had a cardiac arrest and they um, felt that the patient was brain dead. They wanted neurology people to come and kind of um, give their opinion, do their exam, do sort of the brainstem reflexes and see what was intact and what wasn't. So they call that prognostication. So you would call neurology consult to do some of that as well. So I went to some of those and kind of pepper in between these like hospital days. We also had clinic where we um, I saw some pediatric neurology cases, um, lots of migraine, um, saw some seizure disorders. I saw a case, um, I saw a child with um, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, um, which I've never seen before. Um, so that was interesting. So that's what I did and now I'm home. It's Friday night. It's about 7.30 p.m. I'm pretty tired. I think I'm gonna take this weekend off because starting next actually next week I'm gonna be in Korea um, but the week after that the week of July 4th I'm starting my away rotation that's me going to different hospitals a lot of people see it as like a long-term interview if you you know I'm basically going to hospitals that I want to eventually end up in for residency so um, you have to do a really good job so I'm kind of gearing myself up for that uh, away rotation experience so I'm most likely taking this week off i've been working on my personal statement here and there on and off and really trying to stay on top of my residency application schedule but there's a lot going on it's it's very like stress inducing because you feel like i'm sure you guys feel the same way preparing for like medical school um, applications it, it just feels like it's going to determine your life and i know it's not the best thing you can do is just do your best and try not to freak out and stay calm and um, just think of ways that you can really best show who you are and not try to be somebody else. So I'm going to just keep that in mind as I go through the residency application process. Um, try to not freak out, to stay calm and just be myself. So um, that's my... <laughs> That's my two cents, I guess, regarding the application process, which is coming up. Anyway, I'm gonna um, probably eat something for dinner and watch. There are a couple things I'm watching. I'm watching the new Orange is New Black, and I recently just got um, season one of Fresh Prince because I thought it was like a nice, lighthearted, short 30 minute show that you can watch um, for fun. So, watching those two things and really liking it. So, I will check back in with you guys. A little later I have a couple things I want to talk about um, this I will most likely pick up tomorrow so I will see you guys tomorrow Saturday hey guys good morning it's Saturday officially as of today I have a fourth year medical student 
Isn't that crazy? This past week, I just finished my introduction to fourth year week. It was a lot of orientation, um, getting trained on how to put in orders in the EMR, um, and getting ACLS training and all that fun stuff. And it's finally over. And now I'm a fourth year medical student. Hard to believe that the past three years have gone by so fast. So I have the mattress on the floor right now. I'm in the process of getting maybe a new bed. So that's why that's on the floor. Stuff in boxes still, um, I haven't unpacked completely, but yes, this is it. I have a bed and I have the bedroom more or less set up. <clears throat> so this bed is from Ikea and the cool thing about this bed is under here is all storage. So you can see it actually fits a lot of stuff. This is like full. So this has like three pillows and like a big comforter in it. And I think this has like some blankets and things like that. One cool thing is I saw on Pinterest this Ikea hack that you can do. You can kind of customize these handles. The bed actually comes with like a flat, just like white handle. But um, I got these handles also from Ikea and I spray painted it gold and I um, use these handles for instead of the, the original handles that the bed came in and I think it turned out really cool I really like the way it looks but this bed took me like so long it took me and my boyfriend like over six hours to make so it was a very complicated process that's my bed and I have a couple dressers these are also from Ikea and I built them myself very proud. I would say the room is coming along nicely. I really like the way it looks. Oh, and let me show you guys quickly. My uh, 100,000 subscriber silver plaque finally came and I'm so proud. I have it displayed here um, on my bed. And just wanna say thank you to everyone who supported me and followed me. And this is all thanks to you guys that I got this cool silver plate button. So thank you. Um, so uh, the living room is more or less the same and my study area is here. Somebody mentioned to me um, that my study area is too dark and I agree. Um, I have a lamp set up over there if you guys can see, um, but it's not bright enough. So I ordered a, a new lamp that's hopefully going to come. Um, in a couple days and I'll have that all set up. Oh, and by the way, I want to show you guys something really cool. My friends at Jane and JD, the YouTube channel, sent me a couple of notebooks and I think it's so pretty. This one is the marble one and this one is the pink one and it has the graph lining paper, the graph paper. And this one is the blank paper and they are designed to fit in your white coats and I think they're super pretty so please go check out Jade and JD at their YouTube channel but also go to their website jadeandjd.com where they have all the cool merchandise. So I posted a picture recently on Instagram and everyone was asking about my glasses so I wanted to quickly talk about that. Um, so I got it through the Warby Parker at home try on program. Um, I talked about it before. Um, basically what you do is you go online and you can pick five frames that you want and it'll send, they'll send it to you for free. And it'll come in a box like this. And the cool thing is you can actually mix and match regular glasses and sunglasses that you can try on. So I ordered a couple of sunglasses. I ordered this one. And this one, which looks a little different. And I ordered three glasses. One of them is the one that everyone's been asking me about. It's called the Dahl, D-A-H-L, from Warby Parker. Also ordered Collis. And finally, I ordered Holcomb. So the great thing about Warby Parker is that they are affordable. So the glasses start from $95 and that includes a prescription lens and the anti-scratch and the anti-glow.
layer coating. Um, and not only that, they every time you buy a pair of glasses, they donate a pair to somebody in need. So I think that's a great cost to support. They also have an app on the App Store. So if you order the five pairs to try on, you can use the app to take pictures and kind of compare them side by side and see which ones you like the best. And you can also send it to your friends and family to see which ones they like the best. So if you guys are interested in trying the home try on program, go to warbyparker.com slash strive. I'm going to put the link in the description box as well and you guys can pick five pairs that you want to try on there's no obligation to buy it it ships free and it's going to include a free prepaid shipping label so you can return all the classes back when you're done trying them on so i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed the little update um also i hope you guys are having a great summer i know a lot of you guys are saying that you missed the vlogs and the videos and starting late summer slash fall, I'll be back to uploading on my regular schedule every Saturday. So definitely stay tuned for that. Plan for us today, I'm gonna have my boyfriend come over. We're gonna cook together and maybe watch a movie. So I'm gonna be signing off. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, thumbs up, and leave me a comment and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.